Thanks for joining today. Our theme today is inner strength. So we're gonna be doing a lot of inner thigh work and just working on crossing the body, working on those muscles that do that for us. Let's start by setting our posture, feet under hips, lift up through the legs, lift up through the hips, engage the core, that lower abs, lift your rib cage up off your waist, roll the shoulder blades down the back, lift the chin to level the head, feel the back of the head over the back of the spine. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. And one more time. Deep breath in and exhale. Nice. Okay, let's get started with our arm series. So we're gonna pick up our light weights. I should say today, since we are working on inner thighs, it's really helpful to have a small squishy ball. Uh, you can even use a tennis ball or something like that, or a rolled up towel just to give you some resistance in your inner thighs. Let's start with our rotating tricep pushback. So feet are parallel, knees soft, hinging at the hips, rolling the shoulder blades down the back, elbows up, uh, up, trying to get them up a little higher than that rib cage. And we're going to rotate those palms up to the sky, palms facing center. A nice big lift and squeeze at the top. Shoulder blades are down the back, so we're not shrugging the shoulders, keeping those elbows right there against the body. You should feel a nice work happening at the top of that big lift. Rotating through this tricep pushback. Push and push, nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay back here, we'll pulse, 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 nice job. Lifting those hands up to the sky. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We're not going to be done for four, three, two, one. Face your palms to the center. Pulse up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Nice job. Just a couple inches up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, let it go. You should feel a nice work happening in those triceps there. Awesome. All right, let's come to a standing chest fly. So again, feet are under your hips, parallel. Set that tall posture, engage the core, lift the arms up to shoulder height. You can have a soft elbow here and keeping the shoulders away from the ears, we're opening up into this fly. So a nice big open to the side. You should almost try to get your hands behind your shoulders if that does not cause you any pain or distress. Don't go beyond your own range of motion, but nice. Open here with a squeeze of the shoulder blade behind. Really great. Nice, slow, controlled movement here, doing a lot of work on the out and a lot of work on the end. Keeping those arms up, parallel to the floor. Arms up, great job. For eight. Nice and slow, seven, six, five, four, and three. 
Last two, last one, open back. We're just gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. So this pulse is actually almost a core exercise here. You'll want to hold onto that core because if you don't, you'll kind of rock your body back and forth. If you're holding onto the core in this pulse, that torso will stay nice and steady while you pulse those arms, opening up here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Roll the shoulder blades back. Setting your feet again, lifting up through those legs. We're gonna come into our 90 degree raise. Very important, hips face front, shoulders face front. Raise up, other side, raise up. Nice. So we're just gonna go side to side here for a little while before we go into our next variation. Again, those shoulder blades stay down the back. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Nice slow movement here. We're not using any momentum to get those arms up. Pure muscle, not rotating the torso as we switch side to side. For eight, seven, six, you should feel those shoulders working. Five, delts are kicking in. Four, three, two, and one. Let's come up to pulse, pulse, pulse. One side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side just for four. Three, two, one. Other side for four. Three, two, one. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you made it, nice job. Roll those shoulders. Let out a little tension. We're gonna come into our bicep work. So we're gonna start with our hands facing down. We're gonna bring our hands up to meet in the center and then press them down. Up to meet in the center, press down. So keeping those elbows glued to the side, hands facing down to the floor. Great job. And with these little weights, it does take a while for our strong muscles like our biceps to start to feel it. But when they do, you'll feel it. Four, three, two, one. Keep those hands connected. Up, down, up, down. Just a couple inches here. Not going all the way up or all the way down. Constant tension on those muscles, up, down, up, down, weights connected in the center, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the opposite now. Elbows glued to the rib cage, hands up, opening up to the side. So let's get our biceps from another angle here. Starting with our, just our usual up and down. Really great. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands up at like a 45 degrees or whatever 45 plus 90 is 135. Out, out, out. Just a pulse here, out, out. Out, hands facing up, strong core, lifted rib cage, top of the head up to the sky. Out here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, set them down. Let's roll our shoulders back. Coming to our uh, skier position again, feet parallel, knees soft, hinging from the hips, bending forward. We're gonna come into a 90 degree row. So our hands, our palms are facing the thighs. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades together as we lift and lower, lift and lower. So you've got a lot of back work going on here, that big squeeze at the top. You should be able to hold a pencil in between your shoulder blades as you reach the top of this movement. Feel that work happening. Head is neutral. Nice straight line from the top of the head down to the tailbone. Strong engaged core. We're not letting our back collapse in. The booty isn't poking out. Just a strong engaged core for a neutral spine. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Let's pulse, pulse, pulse. So this pulse is just happening in those shoulder blades. You shouldn't feel your arms moving in your shoulder sockets, at least not very much. This is all about squeezing the shoulder blades together to work the back for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, set it down, nice. All right, finished with that arm series. Great job. Let's come uh, to our chair or whatever you're using as a bar. You can use a banister, which is probably the best if you have access to one or a wall or a chair, which is what I will be using. We're gonna start with our chair squat. So as I said, we're working today, our theme is inner strength, working on those inner thighs, working on crossing the body. Uh, so if you have a little ball or a rolled up towel that will give you a little resistance, that will add a lot of inner thigh work to your chair squat. If you don't, that's fine. Just walk your feet together, squeeze those thighs together, facing the ball or uh, the bar. We're gonna sit back, Pushing the booty way behind you. Try not to let those knees fall forward at all. Constant squeeze on those inner thighs to keep them engaged. Feel the glutes work as you reach back with that booty. Nice job pushing back. If you have a fixed bar, like that banister, you can keep your head and shoulders up straight, but you kind of need something to, that can support your body weight for that, which a chair cannot do. For four, three, two, push back, stay here, and we pulse, pulse, Pulse. So without support, you really can't get your head and shoulders straight up, but your gaze should be ahead of you. Try not to drop your head. Keeping your gaze ahead of you helps you maintain that spinal alignment. Push, pulse, pulse, glutes back, squeezing the thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We're going to hold two. One hold here. If you can, raise those arms up above the head. We're kind of in an utkatasana position here, squeezing those thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up. Rest your hands back on the bar. Second set. Releve. Up on your toes if you're comfortable with that. Walk your feet together again. In them as close together as possible, squeezing those thighs, pushing the glutes back again. 
staying up on those toes, squeeze and push. So those glutes should be like, wait a minute, I already just did all this work. What are you doing to me? Pushing them back. For eight, seven, beautiful. Keep it going, six, great job getting those glutes way behind you, five. Feel how it's a little different on your inner thighs when we're up on our toes. For me, it brings a lot more work to the inner thigh. Two and one, pulse, pulse, heels up on those toes, squeeze the thighs, pulse the glutes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold balance if you can, arms up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise up, set those feet down, shake it out, down with those chair squats. So for our next move, you can have your back to your chair or you can just stand in the center. I think I'm just gonna stand. But we're going to have our feet in first position, arms out. Actually, I guess you can just rest one hand on the chair. We're going to come into a plie. So the knees are going over the toes. We are straight up from the hip to the top of the head. So not, uh, not bending forward like we were with the chair squat. Coming into a plie, one leg in front, that leg that's next to the bar, and we're gonna open, cross over. So really try to get far across the body without letting that hip close up to the side. So crossing over, keeping this leg that's moving in turnout so it stays rotated in the hip socket leading with the heel as you cross over, staying in this strong plie, making sure that knee is not collapsing toward the center. Front, cross, open, four, three, two, and one. This thigh should really be working. Now we're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, eight, seven, six. Check your posture, make sure you're straight up to the sky. Four, three, two, one. Come back to first, rise up out of your plie. Other side, coming back down into this plie. Brush that other foot up. Leg is in turnout, cross over and open, cross over and open, not letting that hip move with the leg. Hips are square, hips stay locked, keeping that nice plie in your standing leg, working that quad, head and shoulders up to the sky. Core is engaged to maintain that posture. Cross and open cross and open for four, three, two, and one. Bring it to the front, keeping that plie up, down, up, down, not touching the ground, staying a few inches above the ground for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, back to your plie, rise it up, loosen up, let it go. That was also some heavy work for this. <clears throat> Let's do some more crossing front and back. We're going to uh, stand facing the bar in our first position. We're gonna bring a toe up to passe. So a top passe is just bringing your toe up to your knee, keeping that leg in turnout, cross front, 
cross back. So hips are square to your bar, lifting that knee up, lift up and cross. So on that lift, you should feel your oblique engaging a little bit. We're not hiking the hip up. The hips are staying locked in place, square to the chair and square to the floor. Lift and cross, lift and cross. Arch of that standing foot is a little bit lifted to protect your knee while we're in this long turnout position. Head and shoulders straight up to the sky. Four, four, three, two, and one. Up here, pulse, pulse, pulse. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Woo. That's a lot, that's a lot. Let's get ready to do the other side. First position, toe up to passe, maintaining this turnout throughout the move, cross to the front, cross to the back. Cross to the front, cross to the back. Lifting that knee up in between your crosses so that you're getting that nice core engagement. Feeling the position of your hips, staying steady, head and shoulders up to the sky, lift and cross, lift and cross, lift and cross, lift and cross, four, four and cross. Three, and cross. Two, and cross. Last one, cross front, lift that knee. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Nice, shake it out. We are going to do a side walk here, but the key is you are either squeezing your bow, towel, yoga block, throw pillow, whatever you have between your thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, feet parallel. And we are going to stay, for our first round, we're gonna just stay standing up and we're just gonna walk, walk, walk to the side. Just a little walk. It's kind of a cartoon walk, but keeping that squeeze going on the thigh, other direction, walk, walk, walk. Tiny movement here, constant work on that inner thigh. I promise you're gonna feel this one. Back the first direction, walk, 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 walk. Four, three, two, one, change sides. Walk, walk, walk. Four, three, two, one, one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a little break, shake it out, feel how much work that was. Let's make it a little harder. Put that ball back between your thighs. This time we're gonna sit back into a nice squat like our chair squat, and we're gonna walk side to side, staying in this squat. Switch. switch. So you've still got your head and shoulders up to the sky, trying not to like lean forward and look down. 
Looking straight ahead, switch. Last set, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, put that ball to the side. Our last move for our legs, we're gonna be in center floor. We're gonna start in a second position. So feet are super wide. When we sit down into our second position, toes, knees go over those toes. We're nice and tall from the hip up to the sky. So sometimes we'll do a squat here, but this is not a squat, this is a plie. So we're in our second position, plie, rise up, curtsy out. Plie, rise up, curtsy back out. Plie, rise up, curtsy second. Plie, rise up, curtsy second. So in that curtsy, we're really crossing behind, bending both knees. It's a lunge variation. And curtsy, plie, and curtsy, plie, and curtsy. And those inner thighs are already so worked. You should definitely be feeling them engage in the plie to keep that nice rotation, keeping those knees open, and in the curtsy on that crossed lunge. Four, four, and curtsy. Three, and curtsy. Two, and curtsy. Last one, let's stay in this curtsy. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plie, other side. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, plie, rise up, arms down, rock your feet together, shake them out. We made it through our bar series. Let's grab our mats and come to the floor for our core series. We are going to start on our back with a butterfly beat. Let me see if I can get a better camera angle here. So we're laying down on the mat. You can take your thumbs and put them underneath your glutes for a little bit of leverage. Press your belly button down to the spine. We're trying to keep a neutral spine. So at this point, we're not necessarily flattening that spine to push it into the mat. You're just pressing the distance between your belly button and your spine. Lift those legs up, open the legs. You can lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. That's optional. And crossing in this butterfly beat. Nice turnout in the hips, heels facing in, toes facing out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, slow eight. four, back down eight, four, faster this time, up for four, three, two, 
one, down for four. Three, two, one, up for four. Three, two, one, down for four. Three, two, one, choose your position now for our final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab those feet. Coming into a happy baby. Get a little stretch on those hips. If you want some more stretch on your inner thigh, you can open those legs out into a V. Get a little bit of stretch here before we roll over into our plank variation. We are going to be on our hands unless you have wrist problems. If you have wrist problems, come down to your elbows. You can be on your knees or on your toes. Either way, we're super wide with our feet. So this gives us a wider base, meaning we'll have to work a little harder to engage our core. So lifting up through your shoulders, you should almost feel your spine doming between your shoulder blades. Straight line, head down to that tailbone, not letting the tailbone pop into the air. Lift the right arm and then the left. Lift those arms, well, one arm at a time. If you could lift both, I will be very impressed. Reach and reach. So you should really feel your core engage as you destabilize your body. We've got that super wide base with our feet. Use it to control the roll, not letting those hips roll side to side Staying super strong and locked for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees. You can roll your wrists, take a little pressure off of them before we go into our next variation. Coming back to our plank, feet are super wide again. This time our hands stay planted. We're gonna pick up that left foot, bring it to meet the right. Keeping those hips from rolling. Step way out with the left, bring the right to meet it. So just a step side to side, keeping the shoulders square keeping the hips square. So again, you should feel that core really engage as you destabilize your body, change the line. All those muscles have to work to make tiny adjustments to keep you in the same alignment for four and left. Three and left two and left last set and step bring those feet to the center a comfortable distance apart for our hold for eight seven six five four three two one drop to your knees press back into a child's pose you can bring your big toes together and open the knees or you can have your knees together. Fingers are spread, pushing back, getting a nice stretch through the shoulders. And let's come onto our side. We can't do an inner thigh workout without inner thigh lifts. So coming to our side, you can have your hand down, your head down on your arm as a pillow. Or you can prop it up. Top hand can be on the mat or on your hip. Plant that top foot on the mat. Flex the extended leg, lift it up. Lift or flex the extended foot, I should say. Keeping a nice straight knee, lifting that foot up off the mat. Lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Point the toe this time up and then a little to the front, back to center and down. Up, front, center, down. Up, front, center, down. This one is a really good burn. Up, front, center, down, four, three, two, one. Flex the foot, just lift up high. We're gonna hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you can, just lift that top leg way up high, bottom leg stays lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Coming to the other side. Choose your position for your head and your hand. Plant that top foot, flex the foot. Lift up and our standard inner thigh raise here. Feel the squeeze happening at the top. Lift, lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point the toe up, front, center, down. Up, front, center, down. This top hip remains fixed, straight up and down, parallel to the wall in front of you. Up, front, center, down. Up, front, center, down. Nice, four, down, three, up, front, center, down, last one, front, center, down, flex the foot, lift, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, if you can lift that top leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, float the legs down. Coming to your back. Let's do some crunches here. Knees up to at a 90 degree angle. You can have your hands lightly touching your ears, fingertips lightly touching your ears across your hands over your chest. Lift up, drop the legs to one side, and crunch to the other, up and back. Up, drop, crunch, up and back. So we're crossing the body here with the arms while those legs drop the opposite direction. Up, crunch, up and back. Up, crunch, up and back, nice. Up, crunch, up and back. Really good. You should feel some strong engagement of the obliques as we work them two ways from the top half of our body and from our lower body. Four, three, two, and one. Let's come into a traditional bicycle. So we're gonna extend one leg and extend the other, hovering those legs. I'm gonna cross my arms for this one. Head and shoulders lifted up off the mat. Nice and slow to start. Cross, cross, four, four, three, two, one, let's finish up as fast as you can, going at your own pace, but as fast as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab those knees or the feet or the ankles. Another little happy baby, trying to press the tailbone down to the mat to get a good stretch 
on your spine, opening up those hips. You can open the legs to the side to start to stretch those inner thighs and hamstrings on the back of the leg. And coming back up to seated. Let's give those inner thighs a real stretch. A modified V-sit, so one knee is bent, heel kind of close to the body, other leg extended. Let's start with that foot flexed, reach for the toes, arm up and over, both glutes staying on the mat. Feel a good stretch here on the spine, on the inner thigh, on the hip. Back up to center. This time we're gonna face that foot, reach forward. Your choice, whether the toe is flexed or bent, whatever gives you a good stretch. Reaching the nose toward the knee, working within your own range of motion. Rising back up to center. Feet meet in the middle for a butterfly stretch. Lift up tall, tailbone up to the top of the head, letting those knees press open. As we fold forward, you can gently use your elbows to keep the knees open. Not a lot of pressure on those um, calves, but just a little bit of extra weight to get that nice stretch going. Reach up and over and then come into a fold. This should feel really nice on the inner thigh and the hip. Roll up, other side, heel in, foot flexed, reaching out and then up and over. Shoulders facing the wall in front of you. Both glutes down on the mat. Opening up that bent knee. Get more stretch in the hip. Rise back up to center. Turn your torso to face that foot and reach over. foot flexed or pointed, whatever gives you the stretch you're looking for. Come back to center, coming to hands and knees. Step those feet out into a wide standing V. Toes. Parallel, feet parallel, let's walk over to the right foot and then bend that right knee. Again, you can have this elbow on the inside of your knee to help it open, not pressure, just helping it stay open. Good stretch on that left extended leg. Straighten the knee, walk the feet over to the left foot, bend the left knee. Gentle support of the left hand or elbow for that turnout. Walk back to the center. Hands on hips, slowly roll up, head last. Turn your heels in so that we're in our wide second position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale into a plie. Inhale up. Let your heart rate slow. Filling those lungs with oxygen, last one. And exhale. Ladies, take your curtsy. Gentlemen, take your bow. 
thank you for joining me for our post Thanksgiving bar class. I'm so glad that you were all able to make it. I hope you had a great holiday weekend.